this year's hot season is officially started and could become the hottest in recent memory. Rain is predicted by May, but in between we can expect temperatures of up to 44 degrees, according to the Met Office. They've also noted concern for water levels in some reservoirs, and others have commented on a potential strain on the national grid due to the prolific sale of air conditioning units nowadays. A raid on a so-called visa company in Bangkok found 489 passports in stock, along with 29 counterfeit visa stamps all used to assist Burmese in getting work here. All involved were arrested. The Phuket News reports that Thai immigration there plans to implement new regulations, including a check that at least 400,000 baht remains in a foreigner's bank when relying on deposits for a retirement visa. Checks will be made each quarter on reporting, and they're said to be implementing the change on the 1st of March. Staying in Phuket, police there are seeking a Greek man after a woman was found bound and gagged in a rented room. She'd been battered to death and her Greek boyfriend is said to have been jealous as she continued contact with her Thai husband. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, public health officials are doing the rounds to check on enforcement of non-smoking laws following recent changes. Schools, parks and beaches, along with government offices, are all seeing checks with the law now saying that puffers must be at least five metres from entrances. Those caught lighting up in prohibited spaces face fines of up to 5,000 baht. But, according to experts, warnings will be given first. Burrapa Bike Week went well, seeing Saturday at least busy. With several Western bands playing, the highlight for many was the Thai stage, which saw the return of Thailand's guitar king Lam Morrison with a special treat as his daughter, a TV and movie star Natasha, joined him on stage to sing too. Local rock man Pop featured as well, as did so many bands that the main stage drew crowds away from the rock arena and a party atmosphere created quickly. Backstage, it was a chance for musicians to meet old pals and Patty as mayor, along with his deputy, guesting too. Asked if he'll run for mayor or MP, we were told that our current mayor plans to run for mayor only, concentrating on the development of the city. Two major companies are vying for the contract to develop what will become a major port at Maptaput, serving the Rayong region. As this region sees a continued boost to business with new roads, rail and airports, so the port will take a lot of the strain from Lam Chabang once finished. An Indian man whose Mercedes flipped over when it hit a central reservation, embedding itself into an oncoming taxi, was being held by police at the weekend. This as they awaited alcohol checks. The 50-year-old was thought to have dozed off. Onlookers said he was certainly speeding. Luckily, no one was hurt. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 33, dropping down to 23, and a rather humid day, that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Patia, the city of fun.